Okay, in this little video, I'm going to show you the basic leatherworking processes. So, put your animal hides to begin with into the curing basin, like so. Then, you want to take one bottle of tannin for every hide you have. So I've got 14 bottles. Like that. Then you equip a curing knife and use it on the basin. This craft, I believe your bonuses are based on um, wisdom and constitution, but I have no bonuses in either of those, but I don't have any negatives either, so it's purely based on the role and my skill. So we're going to do that. As you can see, we're getting leather patches. We'll need those later. Is leather boiling? I don't need it for this time. For what I'm trying to make, but I'll show you the process. You need one beeswax for every leather patch we're using. You also need a boiling hook, use that on the leather boiler. And then see what happens. Success! We learned a new recipe. I kind of want to say it's constitution and wisdom that contributes to this, but it might be strength as well. Yeah, but um, that's how that works. And that gives you boiled leather, which can be used to make armors in different quantities. I believe you need three uh, patches of boiled leather and three patches of normal leather to make a padded armor. And the ratio has changed slightly according to what armor you're trying to make. But the, uh, the amount of the components you need is listed on the armor template, so it's all very straightforward. Finally, you move to the leather workers table. For this, you also need a, a leather workers kit, which you also get from the same merchant as gives you the tannin and such. Okay, we're going to be making boots. And for a pair of boots, you need two patches of leather. They have to be the same kind of leather but every leather patch you use creates boots with different properties. The plain uh, leather ones don't do anything, but I'll show you why I'm making these in a minute. Okay, so we use this on the table. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've made a pair of boots. I don't remember the... Um, where you get your bonuses, but you certainly get a bonus from dexterity. It's probably strength. Probably. Anyway, we have made a pair of leather boots. They don't do anything special. I'm going to try and make some more. And in just a moment, you will see why. For the final step, we've come to the warehouse in the warehouse district. We are going to place, not sure what all this is, Ooh, oak wood. I'll just take that. Anyway, we are going to place these leather boots into the supply crate. Then we speak with Gabriel. We say, ask if he has any work available. And then he lists the work. We want supplier. And we can see he wants a uh, 10 pairs of boots today for 10 uh, gold pieces each. We've got three in there, so he'll want seven after this. So we click trade supply items, and he's paid us 30 gold pieces for our leatherworking practice. So while you may not make a large profit on anything you make to begin with, um, it's very helpful for those wanting to get started. 
and it means that you're not constantly spending money and not getting anything back for it. So I said, well, you don't get a huge profit, you at least get back the cost of production and a little bit extra just to get you going.